Hi, Excel on Mac users. In this video, I'm going to cover how to create a bubble chart. A bubble chart is almost similar to an XY scatter chart, but there's the extra value of a Y value. So we have our X value. These, in this example, these are years of the public company. Our Y values, we have our revenues, and our Z value, if you can call it that, is the size of the bubble. And we have the columns that represent our X, Y, and Z. So the first one is X, Y, and Z. Usually that's in that order, but of course you can choose it when you create your chart. So let's see how we can do this. I'm just gonna take this value, Control Z, these set of values, and put it on another sheet here. I'll just paste values. And we have, let's double click to auto fit there. And you may think it's as easy as just selecting anywhere within our range of data, going to insert, and under the this particular icon here, we have our bubble chart. And so if I select that, you notice it kind of gave me some values that are didn't really look right. And so I prefer to just create the bubble chart and then input the series of data in there. So let's delete that. And we're just going to select something outside of here. I'll initially make this data with that first bubble chart. If I go to insert, you'll see that we have our two type of bubble charts. One here is just a regular bubble chart, and this one is a 3D bubble chart. And depending on what kind of imagery you want to put on there, one would probably be better than the other. But let's start with the regular bubble chart first. So I select on that, and all I need to do is select my data now. So I'm going to input my data, my first set of data, is going to be the x value these this is going to be the years of the public company this is going to go on the horizontal axis my y values are going to go on the vertical axis these are the revenues and my sizes is the size of the bubbles right so we have our size of the bubbles here so i can just click okay and i've got my bubble charts here Let's get rid of the grid lines, select that, press delete. Got rid of the horizontal grid lines, let's get rid of the vertical grid lines, press delete. And we can also put labels here. Select on the bubbles, right click, and add data labels. Initially it's going to add the data labels for the revenues, you can see here, 265 there. But we can change that to reflect the names of the company. So to add the labels for the names of the company it's not as straightforward so if I clicked on let me click outside the chart and click the labels again right click format data labels in the PC version you have the option to add data labels and you can choose the range of data but in the Mac version it's not that simple but there is a way around it what you can do is you can do it piecemeal you select one data label this is 265 we know that's Apple. So I'll select again and that selects that particular label, press equal and click on Apple, press enter and I've got Apple. 110, that's Microsoft, select on that, equals select the Microsoft cell, press enter. I'll do the rest for these three and speed up the video. So there we go, we've got our labels for our bubbles. And now, if we want to kind of make this look nicer, you can click on the cell, go to chart design, and maybe you can select some of the pre-formatted uh, displays or, or designs, and that makes it all look nice. But what if we wanted to have the images or the pictures? Control C to undo those changes. Let's select Apple. All right, I'll select Apple, right click, and maybe I want to format this. So I'll go to Format Data Point, and for the color, I want to fill it with a picture. So let's fill it with the picture of the app like. So I'm going to find my images in my folder here and look for the Apple icon. Select that, click Insert. This is a PNG file. Those are It's a type of image file. Click Insert, and you'll see that it's put it there. Let's try Microsoft and see how that looks. Do a select picture, go to file, and let's try the Microsoft one. And you'll notice that it really doesn't preserve the size of the bubbles, right? 
you can notice that it just gives you the image. So that's one of the bad parts if you want to put imagery inside the bubble. If you want it to just have default bubble colors like red, blue, that's fine. But if you want to do images, this particular chart type might not be as good. What we can do is change our chart type. I mentioned earlier that we can have a different type. And what we can use is the 3D one. So I select 3D and now you notice that it kind of keeps that bubble shape. You can see that it keeps there. And now you can put the images on there. If I put at, click Amazon, right click, format data point, go into the paint bucket and select my picture file. Let's find the Amazon, double click that. And Amazon's there and it keeps that bubble size. So the 3D one is really good if you want to kind of put pictures within your object. I do the same for alphabet picture or that's Google the parent company and Facebook and do it for that one go under file Facebook and you can see that it's kept let's close this it's kept the size of the bubbles for the rest of them if I didn't have the 3d chart for the bubble chart it wouldn't have kept the size but that's only if you wanted to put pictures in there if you wanted to kind of use the colors then you don't need to do the 3d bubbles but if you like to put images in there, which we have here, probably the, the 3D bubble is the way to go. So that's the way that we can create a bubble chart on your Excel for Mac. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.